Don't miss it. Are you gonna need the chair? No. You heard the man? Are you sure you want to sign for this guy? I'm not a package. I can handle Mr. Jenkins' signature. For a smart woman, that was a really stupid move. You're so very welcome. And you said I was going to have a room with a bed and a phone and a lock on the door. Don't forget the TV. I don't need a TV. What I need is a place to run my business. And the people I deal with, you don't want them knowing your number. Well, then don't give it to them. What are you after? What do you think? Tell me. I need you to take your clothes off so I can... I need to check your wound, Isaac. Oh, well, take your time. I'm hurting all over. I'm gonna put a hurting all over you if you don't quit it. You know, I should have just left you there to bleed to death. But you'd miss me. Not likely, but seeing that I was the one that tried to help to save your life, I want to make sure it was actually worth my while. Take, take your shirt off, please. You want it? You got it? <laughs> Look. Look, your daddy's a little silly, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you knew what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm trying to keep this kid quiet for an hour. I didn't think it'd be so hard. Yeah, well. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. She can run me ragged for the rest of my life. Could have lost her, maybe. Yeah, but she didn't. And obviously, she didn't ingest any of those pills. Look at her. She's great. Yeah, but that <laughs> bottle, it had a had a childproof cap on it, and it was on top of my dresser. It's bad enough she got out of that crib, but if she would have fallen... Well, but she didn't. She didn't. She's okay. And she's with her mommy and daddy. Look, the woman is incompetent, and any judge in his right mind would see that. My granddaughter is here in the hospital. What more do they need? Well, maybe we can get an injunction. Well, finally, finally, can we get that done today? Because I don't want this girl to go home with her mother. Well, we've got to file with the court first. That takes time. You see, this pill thing, it really scares me, and I feel that perhaps the girl's life is in danger. So, uh, how, there must be a way we can get this done quickly. Well, if you're that concerned, why don't you see if you can find a way to keep the baby in the hospital until we can file? I see. How long will that take? That's uh, at least a day. And if the child's still hospitalized, I can, uh, I can push for an expedited injunction. But that can't happen, and, you know, if uh, she's released tonight. Why not? Well, it implies that the child's condition wasn't serious. So it's going to take longer to build a case, and if the birth father isn't cooperating... Okay, listen. You get to work on this injunction. I will keep hope here just as long as necessary. <clears throat> Mommy? I, I, I would have come by sooner, but I figured... Abigail would probably be here and, well, you know, I guess it doesn't matter if I hold your hands in public anymore, seeing as our pictures are pasted all over the tabloids. Molly, everyone who could possibly be hurt by this was. I don't know what I'm going to do what I'm going to do to make this right. No, Miss Collins' fall was an accident. Are the Newswires getting their information from the tabloids these days, or what? No, my daughter does not wish to make a statement. Check the police records. All the facts are there. You know, we don't have to field all these phone calls. I'm hoping that maybe if I talk to these people, they'll go a little easier on us. What are those? What, are we getting hate mail now, or no, what? No, as a matter of fact, it's the weirdest thing. I'm... Hello? No comment! National intruder. Did, haven't they done enough damage already? I, I gotta do something. I gotta find a way to protect my daughter from all this. Well, you can't put me in a glass bubble. Well, you know, I can certainly try. What happened? Don't tell me one of those reporters got to you. All getting to me. The whole town is talking about me and making jokes. It's gonna pass. I can't take it anymore. I have to leave Oakdale.
People always have to have something to gossip about. Uh, Holden and I, we've been on the receiving end of things like this before. Sometimes they'll have to have something else to talk about, and then people will forget. Trust me. You know, but I can't. Christopher slept with Molly, and, and that hurts. But what makes it a thousand times worse is that everybody knows. I mean, kids that I go to school with, the people I, I pass on the street, and, and Molly. You know, I, I can't stand seeing her in the hospital and knowing she's there because of me. Abigail, you have to stop blaming well, yourself Well, it was all my that. fault. You are not the cause of any of this. Well, I made Molly fall. And I know the police said that it was an accident, but it still was my fault. And pretending that it's not, and then going to the hospital and seeing her every day and holding her hand. I mean, she probably hates me for what I did. No. That's not true. Molly loves you, and that'll never change. Do you think that I'd be letting her down if I go away? No. Molly wouldn't want you to be hurt, even if that meant going away for a while. You know what? Why, we should just uh, go out of town for a little while, get out of Oakdale. Yeah. No, Oakdale Latin will understand. That's right. I, I still owe her a vacation. Right. A vacation? Yeah, we could go away for two to three weeks. We could go someplace in the sun. We could go skiing, and we can come back when everything dies down. But it won't. Two to three weeks from now, Molly could still be the same. And Christopher, he's gonna, he's gonna be here always. And who knows when, when I'm gonna run into him at, at the park or at the diner. Wait a minute, so when you said that you don't wanna, you wanna leave Oakdale, does, does that mean you don't wanna live here anymore at all? Okay, we, it's okay. It's okay. We understand. I, I guess I'll, I'll call your parents. Holden. Holden. I already did. I'm flying out tonight. How to create your dream home. Step one, come to the J.C. Penney Right at Home Sale. Step two, save 10 to 50% on almost everything, from bedding to window treatments, from bathroom accessories to furniture. Step three, come in now. The sale ends March 4th. Step four, if it doesn't work, toss it. The J.C. Penney Right at Home Sale, right now through March 4th. This is my husband, Mark. We're going to have three beautiful children and live happily ever after in Paris. Someday. But for now, I'm on the pill. Or the tricyclic. Taken correctly, it's over 99% effective, so we don't have to worry about getting pregnant. Just yet. And or the tricycline actually helps my skin look better, too. How many pills can you say that about? Just one. Or the tricycline. It's clinically proven to help clear up moderate acne and helps my skin look better. The pill does not protect against HIV or sexually transmitted diseases. Serious risks include blood clot, stroke, and heart attack. Cigarette smoking increases these risks, especially if you're a smoker over 35. Women who use the pill are urged not to smoke. Women who have blood clots, certain cancers, a history of heart attack, or stroke, and those who could be pregnant should not use the pill. For more information, talk to your health care provider. Look, if you want to take the pill, why not take the only one that helps your skin look better? Or the tricycline. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? You guys want cookies? Yeah. Warm, ooey, gooey Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies. Make their day the doughboy way. <laughs> Introducing a Summer's Eve made just for you. New Summer's Eve lubricating jelly with natural lubricants and pH balanced. Summer's Eve, enjoy being a woman. No, it's not like the ones you had at home. Still think it's a very cute. Yeah, it's a little cute. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Denise. Hey, what's happened? So glad to see you. 
Right after you left, Hope, she got out of her crib and she got, uh, she got into these pills. She swallowed them? We don't know. Well, they were scattered all over, so I couldn't really tell for sure. I called points of control and they told me to bring her here. Dr. Stewart checked her out, gave her that charcoal solution and put her on this monitor. Does she look okay to you? Well, she seems fine. Looks like you got her here in time. I know you're right again. I hope you're gonna be just fine, honey. We're gonna get you soon. We're gonna get you home real soon, I promise. Look, Annie, I'll be right back. Okay. Look, I don't want you to think I ignored you and went straight to Andy. I tried to call you, but you weren't at home. So I guess you must have just, uh, come back here after we, uh, disagreed. Uh, Denise, um, I was home. Oh, so then you got my message. And then you raced right over here, Ben, that is so sweet. I, I, I was there, but I, I didn't want to argue anymore, so I didn't pick up. You were there? I'm, I'm sorry, Denise. No. I, didn't. I really need you not to touch me right now. I can't believe this happened. I should have been there for you. I should have answered. So why didn't you? You didn't say it was about hope. I guess not. I mean, I mean, Ben, I was so panicked. You mean to tell me because we argued before, you just assumed that I was going to rag on you even more? Denise. Ben, my baby could have died, and you just blew me off. How Look, could if you I'd do known that? it was about hope. And that would have made all the difference. Because there's nothing that I, your fiancé, could possibly need from you that would be important enough for you to pick up the phone. Look, it's not fair. Right. And that's just another thing I'm not. I'm not fair. I'm not good. I'm not honest. I'm not even nice. But see, you're all those things. And once again, this, this was all my fault. Denise, I made a mistake. A huge one. If I could go back and change it all, then I would. you know I could have lost her. I could have lost her just like that. But I promise you, nothing like this will ever happen again. I was wrong. So what, so, were, you, what were you trying to do? Were you trying to punish me for arguing? Oh, come on, that, that's ridiculous. Then what? What, why the silent treatment? Why didn't you just pick up the phone and tell me you didn't want to talk to me? Because I knew it wouldn't end there. I was just trying to give both of us a chance to cool off. And I don't have a right to stay mad just like you do. See, it's okay for me to want to be loved in hell, but I can't need it. I didn't think it through. Well, then you just decided for both of us. You're just a, another strong man trying to keep little Nisi down. Hey, look, I'm not like him. You know that. I never hurt you. Yeah. Well, some things hurt a lot worse than this. You know, when, when I walked in there, and I saw you, Hope, and Andy, looking like a family. Andy? Andy has a right to be there, ben. And what hurt more was knowing that I brought that on myself. I'm sorry, Denise. Please, can we just... Can we get past this? I'm not so sure I can. You sure you know what you're doing? You know, it doesn't take a medical degree to give you antibiotics and keep a wound clean and feed you chicken soup. I hate chicken soup. I bet you hate just about everything right now. No, just you. Well, you know what? When I was battling cancer, I hated just about everybody. I was downright evil, especially to all the people that cared about me. So you care about me? I don't want you dying in the middle of my living room, no. So why were you so evil? Well, my life was out of control, you know? I hated not having control of my life, my body. I just felt vulnerable all the time. I'm not the one feeling vulnerable right now. Yes, well, you should, because if you kiss me like that again, I'm gonna have to hurt you, you know? But you're an angel of mercy. Yes, I am. And as long as we keep things professional, I will fix you your meals and take your temperature. It gives me sponge baths. Those are fun. I'm not interested in fun. And I'm not interested in being your passive patient. Well, I hate to tell you something, Sparky. That's about all you can handle right now. I can handle a lot more. I'm getting out of here. I'm going back to my hotel. Gone? Go ahead. 
Would you get out of my way? Absolutely, no problem. <clears throat> I am so sorry I didn't discuss this with you first. No, that's fine. I understand why you won't leave. But tonight, why tonight? Everything is closing in on me. And I can't imagine spending one more day here. But it's not because of you. I only want what's best for you. You know that, right? Did you tell your parents what happened? Oh, no. So please, please don't tell them about Christopher and Molly. I need to... I need to somehow explain that myself. All right, all right. <sighs> well, I'll uh, call your mom and confirm your plans. You know, well, boy, maybe you should move away a few days. Really, you've been through so much. It's been such a... You know, I know it, it seems like I'm running away, but... Diana. Hi, it's Holden. Holden, I'm so glad you called. Yeah, Abby tells me that she's coming to see you. We've missed you so much. I can't wait to see her. I'll probably not get any sleep between now and the time she gets here. Yeah, well, she misses you, too. Listen, uh, about the reservations. Holden, um, may I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, it's just, I mean, we thought that Abigail was so happy in Oakdale, and this is so unexpected. Is everything all right? You know, I, I better let Abigail tell you that herself. But, you know, we have had a great time with her, and we really hope she comes back sometime soon. But she seemed upset when I spoke with her. At first, I just thought she was homesick for us, but... Well, she misses you and Mitchell very much. But why the rush? I mean, it, did something happen? Um, hold on. Mother's asking a lot of questions. Do you want me to explain to her um. what happened? Are you giving Holden the third degree? <laughs> Parental prerogative. Are you okay, sweetie? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. I just, um, I miss you and Dad very much. I, Holden and Lily, they've been, they've been wonderful, but, you know, I just, I just should have left with you guys in the first place. I love you, baby. I can't believe you just caught me that. <laughs> well, you'll always be my baby. I love you too, Mom. Um, is Dad for me? Mm -hmm. okay. So you have all the flight information? Mm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not real thrilled about her changing planes twice. I mean, in New York and then again in Frankfurt. Well, the layovers are short, and I'll make sure that she has plenty of money, just in case her flights are delayed. Make sure that she calls to check in, okay? I'll call. Don't worry. Did you hear that? They grow up so fast, don't they? Yeah, too fast. Holden, thank you so much for taking such good care of her. No problem, Diana. I'll talk to you soon. I'm really sorry that everything turned out like this. Well, for a little while, this was the best part of my life. Do you, want, do you want me to help you pack? No, I'm, I'm already done. I just, um, I just probably need to take a walk, you know, say some last goodbyes, if that's okay. That's fine. Okay. I'll come back in time to take a cab to the airport. No, 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 no. What, what, what? Uh, I'll... Presenting the day at the Gordons, where racing champion Jeff Gordon and his wife Brooke eat new Fritos chili and scoops, a hearty cup of chili and loads of Fritos corn chips. It's fast, it's filling, it's Fritos. Perfect for people on the go. New Fritos chili and scoops and sloppy Joe and scoops. Nothing goes faster. 
You can't blame them. They try. But what does a guy know about a period? He says, take Tylenol. It's not enough. I need my doll. For the cramps, headaches, major leak bloating. My doll's just as strong on pain, but it does more than Advil or Tylenol because it's got something extra to fight bloating and fatigue, too. I win. My doll, because your period's more than a pain. Must be the rented shoes. <laughs> Boy, the things we don't think about when we're young. I'm Peggy Fleming, and now that I'm older and wiser, I think about the brittle bones that I could get if I wasn't taking a calcium supplement. So I take Oscal every day. Only Oscal's been proven effective in more clinical studies and comes from a natural calcium source and has been recommended by more doctors than Caltrate and Citrical combined. If you're getting older, get wiser too. Don't take chances, take Oscal. At the heart of every advance in communication is the desire to improve the free flow of ideas. That's why new PaperMate Gel Roller has a special Gel Glide ink system in spring-loaded point, making writing uniquely smooth. PaperMate! Itchy allergic rash? The dermatologist I work for recommends Cordaid. It stops the itch and helps heal the rash to restore your skin. There's no brand doctors recommend more. In fact, doctors recommend Cordaid more than 4 to 1 over Cortisone 10. Cordaid, restore your skin. January 14th. In a New York hospital. Late night TV was left in the dark. Tonight, David Letterman returns to The Late Show with Regis Philbin and Robin Williams. So, I guess we're right back where we started, huh? The outcast Ropedale Court. We had it pretty good while it lasted, though, huh? Well, Abigail still loved us. I, I don't think she's gonna be able to forgive us, Molly. Wait, don't go. What, you knew that I was here? Oh, so all that was, that was for my benefit? I said it for Molly. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Another lie. And believe what you want to. You know, it is one thing to try and forgive you for sleeping with my mother. But... I realize that you're still mad at me for what happened, but let's not do this here. Why? What, you're afraid that she's going to wake up? I wish she would. I wish she'd jump up and yell and scream like she did that time she caught us kissing. Because you know what? Now, I believe her. You know, there's a lot of things that I want to change, too. You're a liar. You can't change that. I thought your name was Daisy. Oh, and that excuses everything that you did. I tell one little lie, and, and that justifies you lying to me for months? Look, you act like I set this whole thing up. I'll admit what I did, all of it, but I never intended for this to happen. I mean, how many different ways can I say I'm sorry? Don't worry. You won't have to say it again. I would say it a million times if it meant that we could have back what we had. What can I do? What can I say to fix this? Nothing. Nothing, okay? Just leave me alone. You really want me out of your life? Yes. All right. I'm gone. I thought that I was so smart coming here to Oakdale. Finding you and Holden was supposed to help me find myself. more like me with him than I did my whole life. And now that that's gone, I feel like I'm gone too. I, I won't ever love anyone like I loved him. It just hurts way too much. But it always hurt like this, Molly. I mean, you've been hurt so many times by Holden and other people. That's, that's why you're so alone. Is that what's gonna happen to me? It looks like that you're not gonna 
wake up and tell me. That's okay. You know, you can just wait till I'm gone. Maybe you'll get better now that you won't have to wake up and face me. I hope so. I'm so sorry. I don't know if I'll come back. I should have been able to prevent it. Oh, Mimi. There was nothing that you could have done. Chris and Molly met each other before. And then Chris and Abigail met. It's, it was just fate. Maybe. I'm going to go check the closets and uh, make sure she hasn't left anything. I, I can help you. No, no, that's okay. That's fine. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. You wanted to tell me about those letters? It doesn't matter. I love Hope like she was my own. I know that. And I know that you'd never do anything to hurt her or me on purpose. Then why can't you forgive me? Because... It was so hard to let myself need you, Ben. And then you go and you push something like this. I let you down like once, Denise. One time. Is it easier to push me away because Andy's around? Wait, I haven't pushed you away. He was there this morning when the social worker came back, wasn't he? And I told you he dropped by because he right. dropped out those photographs of Hope. But you didn't kick him out, did you? It was fine for your motherly image to have Andy around, but not me. He's Hope's father. Yeah, but what's he to you? He's Hope's father. You're jealous of Andy, aren't you? Well, you go run off somewhere, Andy brings you back. You kick me out, Andy gets to stay. He slept with me, you haven't. I didn't say that. Well, I'm getting pretty good at reading what you don't yeah, say, look, Ben. Listen, you're really worried about Hope. We're both upset. Let's just talk about this later. So, right. Just walk away. I'm trying to avoid another fight. Well, it's too late because we're already way too deep into it. So let's finish it. Now. Don't worry, they'll be back. Warm, ooey, gooey Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Start your weekend on a roll. <laughs> For itchy patches of dry winter skin, moisturizer can't always cut it. Try Cortisone 10 Plus. Among these, only Cortisone 10 Plus has 10 moisturizers, plus the power of Cortisone 10 to stop itch and help heal. Try Cortisone 10 Plus. Have you noticed the sparks by Cuspid? Talk about white teeth. I'm too distracted by your sparkling canines. What about those incisors? Radiant. Luminous. Blinding. Colgate Whitening Toothpaste with Tartar Control has extra whiteners for teeth so white they'll get talked about. I bet she has really white molars. For whiter teeth, Colgate Whitening. In this life, there's just no stopping. No break for a hacking cough. No rest for a raw, sore throat. Aches, fever. But when you're desperate for relief, there is Theraflu. Fast, powerful, hot liquid therapy. With the first sip of that soothing hot liquid, you feel relief is on the way. Soon your throat is soothed, your cough calmed. Maximum strength Theraflu. Now a new honey lemon chest congestion and cough. Instant comfort, powerful relief. You are amazing. <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? Your baby's growing quickly, so it's no wonder that by the time he's four months, his calcium needs increase more than 50%. That's why there's Carnation Follow-Up, the only formula with the extra calcium active babies need, plus savings up to 20%. <laughs> Sorry, no driving till you're 16. Carnation Follow-Up from Nestle, also available in soy. 
Was the new drug that killed her put on the market too soon? Eye on America tonight. Tuesday on 60 Minutes 2. Getting the health care you need? She thought so, and it nearly killed her. Now her case has gone to the Supreme Court, and what happens next could change managed care forever. Plus, Santana has the comeback story of the year, but what's most remarkable is the story he tells 60 Minutes 2. Tuesday at 9, 8 Central. She's the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer and one of the most downloaded women on the Internet. But you've never seen Christy Swanson until you've seen her on Grapevine. CBS next Monday. Pretty hard to set those land speed records once those pain pills wear off, huh? They're in the bathroom if you want to take them with you. I'll give them more later. Okay. You know, Isaac, it's probably really cold outside. You might want to take your jacket with you. I hung it up in the closet way over there in the corner. You know, if you're waiting for me to ask you for help, forget it. <laughs> Why, when you're doing so well on your own? Hey, listen, when you do make it to the phone, you might want to pick it up and call yourself a cab unless you intend on walking all the way back to your hotel. joking, okay? You're bleeding through your teeth. You could be hemorrhaging. Be fine. No, not if you're hemorrhaging. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. I'm sorry. Listen, lean up here. Lean up here. Lean up there. And just stay there. I'll be right back. Like I have a choice. I don't know what you want, Denise. I want you to love me. You got that. No, I think you love who you want me to be. Oh, come on, don't start that again, acting like you're not good enough for me. Yeah, and where do you think I got that from? From you. Every time I make a choice, you have a problem with it. It's not true. Well, I'm always running by your clock. Let's tell Annie the truth now. Let, let's make love later. Let's get married now. Let's talk, argue, deal with what's wrong later. The one thing I do know for sure is that... I'm, uh, I'm not ready for this. Denise, don't do this. No, I can't wear this. I cannot wear this now. Take it. Denise! Denise, what? come in here, quick! What is it? What happened? What's wrong? It's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. It's something wonderful. She just called me Dad. Oh, she did? And she knew who to say it to. That's pretty amazing. I can't believe it. She's never done that before, <laughs> sweetie. I was just telling her this story about, like, a made-up family. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll concede it, all right? Well, then where the are you going, right? No. They're, those tests are totally unnecessary. Listen to me. Why are this, you doing this? This woman's irresponsible behavior makes me fear for my granddaughter's life. If I can keep her here in the hospital, I stand a better chance of getting custody. You're filing for custody? Not for me, personally, but for Andrew. We can give that child a better life. No, John. You can't. plug-in scented oil. It doesn't fade. It doesn't fade away. It doesn't fade. Plug it in, plug it in. Scented oil makes this the best plug-ins ever. Plug it in, plug it in. Because oil freshens from the first drop to the last without quickly fading away. Fresh in 60 days, freshens in a new way. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug into new scented oil for freshness that won't fade away. Plug it in. S.C. Johnson, a family company. I had a wake-up call. I was really overweight, unhealthy. I wanted a good life, and I needed a healthy way to get there. I lost over 50 pounds on the Slim Fast plan. Awesome. Yeah. It's like I have a new lease on life. I'll drink a shake, you know, at least once a day. My energy level right now, on a scale from 1 to 10, it's an 11. Slim Fast. It's got your vitamins, minerals. It's got your calcium, the nutrients that you need. It's been a great ride. Slim fast every day. Get healthy. Don't wait another day. Do it now. You are in the fight of your life. Just you against your smoking addiction. One on one. 
trouble is, it's not a fair fight, and few people win it. But you can give yourself a fighting chance to win with Zyban. Zyban doesn't work for everyone. Zyban is part of a comprehensive program from your doctor to help you stop smoking. It's different from nicotine replacements. Zyban is the only prescription medicine that's nicotine-free, so you don't have to stop smoking all at once. As Zyban reduces your cravings, you feel like smoking less and less until you're ready to stop completely because you're ready to win. You should know there is a risk of seizure associated with Zyban. To reduce the risk, don't take Zyban if you have or have had a seizure or eating disorder or if you take Wellbutrin. Don't take Zyban if you use an MAO inhibitor. Side effects may include dry mouth and difficulty sleeping. Ask your doctor if Zyban is right for you because it can help you quit smoking by making it a fight you can win. Zyban, you don't have to quit all at once. Coming to CBS with live superstar performances by Will Smith, the Dixie Chicks, Ricky Martin, the Backstreet Boys, and that just the first hour. Plus, Faith, TLC, Ripley, Nelson, and the electrifying Santana. Rosie hosts Grammys 2000 live CBS Wednesday. It is the most common sexually transmitted disease in the country. Now CBS2 News reopens the file on the herpes virus, the latest on prevention, treatment, and living with the shame. Special assignment tonight at 11 on CBS2 News. What makes Senator Bill Bradley a winner? Who he wins for. Like winning a Rhodes Scholarship, Olympic gold, two championships for the New York Knicks. Like taking on HMOs to win 48-hour hospital stays for pregnant women. Defeating lobbyists to close corporate loopholes. Now he's after the gun lobby with the strictest gun control laws ever. And he's the only candidate who's always been pro-choice. When Bill Bradley wins, you win. But first, you gotta give him the ball. The number one Monday drama keeps getting better. There are many reasons why a woman wouldn't fight for custody. I wasn't a woman. When a father changes gender. He's messing with God's plan. I didn't have a choice. Does she still deserve to be a parent? Do you have any idea the psychological damage he's done? I haven't thought that by becoming a woman, I would have to stop being a father. No. These lawyers will fight a painful custody battle. She is still the same person who loves her daughter. Catch an all-new episode of Family Law, CBS Tonight. This week, looking for love, only on Women to Women. The address is CBS. Make yourself at home for Everybody Loves Raymond. John's got it all wrong. Denise loves Hope, and she's an incredible mother. When Denise brought Hope into the hospital, were you with her? Did you know she had liquor on her breath? What? Oops. I, I noted that in the chart, but it doesn't mean she was drunk. Well, when she, she had a little wine this afternoon, less than half See? a glass. And when she brought her in, were you with her? No. She could have had half a bottle by the time you left. Yeah, but she didn't. How do you know? Because I know Denise. And nothing is more important in Denise Maynard's life than the safety of her child. Not even you. That's right. Uh, well, she's lucky to have somebody like you on her side. I gotta take this. Excuse me, doctors. I'm not as sentimental about this thing as she is. Fine, then deal with the facts. The best place for Hope to be is with her mother, no doubt. Denise may be well-intentioned, but that does not necessarily make for a safe environment. What, because what happened here tonight? Ben, you know as well as I do, that girl could have died. Denise caught her before she ingested any of those pills, and she got her help right away. That proves how conscientious she is. Yeah, until the next near miss. You save your testimonials for somebody else, Doctor. I'm gonna do what I have to do to ensure the safety of my granddaughter. Denise, get Hope ready to go. I'm signing her out. Well, I thought Susan had to do that. I have the authority, and I'm using it. Why? What's going on? Your father is making trouble. He's trying to extend Hope's hospital stay to help build a case that Denise is incompetent. What? Can he do that? I won't. I won't let him. Thank you, Grace. Where is he? He's probably off trying to get his test orders approved. All right, I'll find him. Look, there's no time for that. He's probably calling security to make sure you guys don't get out of here. Just just go get Hope out of here before John gets back. Wait, what is he going to do to you when he finds out? <laughs> just I'll handle John Dixon. Go. Ben, thanks. She did forget something. Why don't you keep it here? That way she can use it when she comes back. You know, I 
really don't think that she is coming back. Oh, come on. Hold in Saudi Arabia. It's not the place for a teenage girl who likes to ride horses and listen to music and wear cool clothes. No, I really no, think no. that she will be back. I no. do. Once Diana and Mitch will find out what happened, what she went through, they're never going to let her come back. Well, hold in. Listen, I, I think I'm going to head outside and work with the horses until I have to take her to the airport. My dearest beloved, it has been three days since you lay in my arms and our hearts beat as one, two parts of a whole, completing each other. God, I'm sorry. I'll just, I'll try and stay out of your way. That won't be a problem. I'm leaving. I'm going to be with my parents in Saudi Arabia. No. No, Abigail, you shouldn't have to do that. You should stay here with Molly. It's... I'll go. I'll go. You don't have to leave. Well, it's all arranged. And it's, it's better this way for everybody. Well, why don't you talk to Holden? Get him to change his mind. This was my idea. I want to go. Oh. Saudi Arabia. I guess you'll, uh... Need some care packages and stuff, then I, I could get you some, you know, a, a VCR or some videotapes and some CDs, some candy bars, anything you want. You know, what I need is for you to forget about me. That's what I want. <sighs> I should probably just take this. It's probably too valuable to stick behind some birds. Yeah, if it's... If it's not going to be around your neck, then... Uh... I guess I'd rather have it be where we first fell in love. Well, I, I have something in yours, too. I don't know if you still want it. Yeah. So, uh, that's good, though. I mean, they, they can be together, even if, even if we can't. You know, maybe we could come back here someday, and together and find the stuff. We won't. We both know that we won't. Let's go, girls. Revlon Color Stay Makeup. The look that lasts. From day into night. Revlon Color Stay. Won't rub off. The Quilted Northern Quilters. What's that? A new kind of quilting needle? No, dear. It's a lint brush. To prove which bathroom tissue leaves less lint. Lint? In a bathroom tissue? Just watch. This is Charmin. Look how much lint it leaves. Lint? Ugh, I don't want that on me. But Quilted Northern is made to leave less lint. Ah, a quilted clean. A clean that leaves you feeling fresh. Lint? Who knew? <laughs> quilted Northern for a quilted clean. Honey, this is simple. He cleans, we clean better. Better because on tough bathroom scum, woo, this is bad. The power of Pine Salt delivers a knockout. And Pine Salt disinfects and deodorizes. Now, who are you going to trust? The power of Pine Salt or Mr. You Know Who over there? The power of Pine Salt, the smell of cleaning. 40 million faces have to face cold sores. No face should have to face another one alone. Today, there's prescription Denevere, the only antiviral cold sore medicine. Smooth on Denevere, and it penetrates to block the virus that causes cold sores, so it helps healing at the tingle or the blister. Imagine, in four and a half days, wearing a smile instead of a cold sore. In studies, a few people experienced headache and redness. Call 1-888-DENEVERE or ask your physician or dentist. Help cold sores disappear with antiviral Denevere. 
Ah, the stovetop canister. I'll let you make a little stuffing, or a lot. Whether it's a platter of pork chops, or a romantic dinner for two, say, meatloaf. Or a turkey. Oh. Dress up dinner tonight with stovetop. John, I told you those tests are unnecessary. All right, then I'll do it on my own, because your signature is a mere formality anyway. You went over my head. You listen to me. I don't care what you think, or what Ben Harris is thinking, or what the child's mother's think, if that's what you want to call her. My responsibility is to my granddaughter, and I will do whatever I have to do to ensure her safety. Are you looking for hope? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. He pushed those tests through. Really? Well, it's already gone. What? Where's the child? Where is she? She's been released. On whose authority? Mine. Huh. Nice going. Would you mind leaving the chart so I can sign off on it? Hey, listen to me. This is a breach of hospital ethics and politics, and I'm going to hold you accountable. Do what you think is right, John. I did. Thanks. I know. I, I should just make a recording of that, because I know I keep saying it over and over lately. <laughs> well, the person you should thank is Ben. I mean, if he hadn't clued us in about what my dad was doing, we'd be... Yeah. Well, he really comes through for hope. For hope for you? The guy's obviously crazy about you. Yeah, but lately it seems like you're the only one who's here when I need you. Tony, I guess you, uh... You noticed. The ring, yeah. Yeah, I did. You want to talk about it? Engagement's on. Mutual decision? Mine mostly. I'm sorry. Well, I know that things are pretty tense between you two. Lately. Yeah, in a big way. And I probably had a lot to do with that. My involvement with Hope. Well, it would have happened sooner or later. It's just that Ben and I, we're, uh, we're just so different. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was. You know something, Isaac? You just got through with major surgery. It's not a sign of weakness to give yourself time to heal. Strong people are smart people. They ask for help when they need it. Well, I can think of better ways to pull stitches. You know, Isaac, I could arrange for you to have a large, ornery male nurse, if you'd like. I'll be good. You know how to do that? Yeah. I can be real good when I put my mind to it. Mm. Save it. That's exactly what I intend to do. Save it up. And then when this arm mends, I'm gonna show you just how good good can be. forget you. I won't forget you either. Although I wish I could. I'm sorry. It don't. You know, just just say goodbye. Well then I guess it's up to me. Goodbye, Christopher. never gets a day off. Nice to know there's Febreze. Febreze cleans life smells out of fabrics for good. It's time. Time for your heartburn to kick in because your heartburn relief gave out. It happens two or more days a week, even though you've treated it and changed your diet. That frequent, persistent heartburn may be due to acid reflux disease, potentially serious. 
It's Prilosec time. Time to see your doctor about prescription Prilosec. Your results may vary, but for many people, Prilosec provides 24 hours of complete heartburn relief with one daily dose. Ask your doctor for more information about Prilosec and if it's right for you. The most common side effects are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. 24 hours of complete heartburn relief is possible. It's Prilosec time. Mother, son. Woodstock, stock exchange. Flower power, power broker. Tie-dye, coat and tie. What brings them to the table? Honey nut checks. A delicious taste. An amazing crunch. Hey, if they can share this family value, what next? Some friendly political conversation? Let's not push it. Honey nut checks. Welcome to Generation Checks. See near, see far, without glasses. Discover the revolutionary AccuView bifocal contact lens, the first with pupil intelligent design. See near, see far, the way nature intended. The AccuView bifocal contact lens. Call us for a free trial pair certificate or visit your eye care professional. Ah, uh, Miss Bennett, I hope you'll excuse the late hour, but I, I was wondering if you might like to go over to the Java Underground. That music over there always drives every coherent thought from my mind, and I've had a lousy day. Um, listen, it's, it's not a good time right now, John. Yes. Well, my day's getting better and better. No, it? listen, listen, it, it, Isaac, it, they released him from the hospital. He doesn't have anywhere to go, and I said that I would, I would nurse him. Is that what you're calling it now? That's what it is, John. I see. Good night, Miss Bennett. You know, it was almost worth getting sliced up to see the, the look on Dr. John's face. I don't ever want you to say one disparaging word about John Dixon. He's a great man, you hear me? I see that there's heavier competition than I thought. I'm gonna have to do something about that. When Judgment Day comes, all I ask is to hold you in my arms for all eternity, my dearest one. Oh, you are the sun, the moon, and the stars in my heaven. Without you, my universe is barren. You hold my heart in your hands. You see, I trust you with my very life. And without you, I should wither and die. So have care, beloved. Be gentle. And I will always be your devoted lover. Simon. ticket and your passport you have all the money that I gave you earlier yes I'm nagging you aren't I treating you like a little kid that's okay all these um months of me trying to act so grown up I just kind of want to go back I don't want to lose you Abigail well I can't promise I don't I don't know when I'll come back to Oakdale Maybe, you know, we could meet sometime, someplace else. Well, then, you know, it wasn't all bad times. I have some good memories, too. I'm glad. Because every memory that I have of you is good. And you're going to get past it. I promise you, you will. Well, I'll learn to live with it somehow. And I'll pray for Molly every day, and she'll get better. She will get better. And if she were here, she would give you a real big hug. We are both very, very proud of you, you know. 
Do you really think so? Do you think she forgives me? Yeah, I know she does. She doesn't blame you at all for what happened. Well, then can I ask you a favor? Yeah, whatever you want. Please don't hang around until I leave. I hate long goodbyes. Just, uh, I'll wait over there. Make sure your plane takes off. I love you. I love you, too. Can you cook something? Cook something.